Today, bourbon is a multi-billion dollar industry known the world over, full of iconic brands and craft distillers. To find out how bourbon became a defining American product, I hit the trail, the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, where modernized distilleries are keeping certain traditions. Today, almost all of our guests are traveling great distance to be here. And I can remember working here as a youngster, most everybody, they were, they were locals. And now it is becoming a destination. Yeah. Emulating Napa Valley, the Bourbon Trail sees around 1.5 million visitors annually who come for the unique offerings only available on site, such as tasting rooms and special edition whiskeys. As the trail reaches peak bourbon, distilleries are even expanding into entertainment venues. Today, thankfully, wow. with the energy in this yeah. bourbon renaissance, I think there are 60 or 65 licensed distilleries in Kentucky. Wow. I think there's 1,300 distilleries across the nation. I think it's a celebration both of our legacy but also our future. You know, we Kentuckians have always cherished our history and our legacy, and we love sharing what we do here with our friends. In fact, Maker's Mark was the first distillery in America ever to host guests. And my grandmother designed this entire distillery, not like an engineer would design a factory, but she set everything up with purpose so that she could swing open the doors and have friends come experience the true legacy of bourbon and yeah. the distinctiveness of what they were creating. It's a higher order than I think of what's even in your glass. It's about Kentucky culture, American culture, our history, and it's something that we can all be really, really proud of. This renaissance has brought new life into the historic home of bourbon, Bardstown, Kentucky, where visitors explore the mystique of this uniquely American spirit from its epicenter. While bourbon can be made anywhere in America, it's not an accident that almost all of it's made here. The iron-free water is essential to make bourbon. Corn is our native grain here in Kentucky. Corn is required to have a minimum of 51% in the mash bill. Oak trees are native in the region, and the bourbon barrel is produced from American white oak. Climate is conducive for a fast maturation with our yeah. hot summers and cold winters. Sure. And then many of the early settlers, like my ancestors, were of Scotch-Irish descent. And when they arrived here, they already had a still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they took advantage of all those yeah. local resources. And had the knowledge, I'm sure, too. And they, they, had, they had the knowledge, the passion, and yeah. the resources. This video is inspired by our PBS series, Reconnecting Roots. Connect with me, Gabe McCauley, and Reconnecting Roots by visiting reconnectingroots.com, where you'll discover music, blogs, behind the scenes, our podcast, and more. Join our email list and never miss a beat.